Hey, what's up guys? The Explanation Pro is here. Today, I'll explain a crime thriller movie, Memories of Murder. Spoilers incoming! The story starts where a boy sits in a rice field, founds a grasshopper, and get it. The boy stands up and saw a tractor and some kids gathering in an area. The main character, who is a detective, approaches the boy's location. The main character pats the head of the boy and went to a drainage system of the field. The main character looks at the hole and there he saw a woman whose hands are tied and naked. The woman's body is also covered with different insects. The main character said that the boy should go home but didn't listen. The other kids are there holding pieces of clothes and the main character told them to just leave it there. While the main character is scolding the kids, the boy is copying him. Everything that the main character does, the boy copies it, even the expression of the main character. The main character is now interrogating someone. He is holding a picture and asking the suspect if he dated the dead woman and dumped him last August. The main character is now writing his report in an old typewriter and didn't even know how to use it. Someone just presses a key and then it automatically went to a next line. He continuously interrogates different men that may be involved in the case. The main character is now in a crime scene with the new case and the area is swamped by police officers. A police officer called the main character because he found footprints and the main character asks if he calls a forensic team. The main character is very upset because kids are ruining the area and he asks the other officers who reported the dead woman wearing a red dress with her hands and mouth tied. Then a tractor will pass the way with the footprints. The main character waves and shouts to the operator but it didn't work because the footprints are now ruined. The forensic team just arrived and the main character is very upset because the crime scene is now very ruined. Then the main character is now in their headquarters and he is pasting a picture in the notebook using rice as an adhesive. His chief asks him how he can even eat by looking at the picture of the suspects that he encountered. He kiddingly says that he is a good reader when it comes to faces and then instinctively knew that someone is the murderer. The chief asks if he is a fortune teller and he even brags that everyone says that he has a sham and eye. After work, the main character finds his pleasure with a woman and received a shot and found out a new information from the woman that a family owner, the Bake family, is called in town as the Bake Lady Killers. One of the sons, named Quang Ho, is said to be retarded. The main character went to see Quang Ho and saw him playing in an arcade with some children. The main character tries to interrogate Quang Ho, but he didn't get any information. Leaving the scene of the interrogation, there is a woman walking the street passing a scarecrow who is worried because someone is following her. The man is just asking for some direction, but the woman starts to panic and make her fall on the fields. The man is helping the woman when the main character came and thought that the man is the rapist that he was looking for. The main character starts to punch the man and arrest him on the spot. The man happens to be a detective. The main character asks how he can be a detective when he is such a bad fighter. And the detective says how can a detective be bad at judging a criminal's face? The two went to a crime scene and the main character marked the shoes that he got as evidence and takes a picture of the prints. The main character hands the camera and asks the pictures to be developed. Then the main character introduced a new detective that is from Seoul to the chief and to the co-workers. They then continue to interrogate Kwang Ho if the prints that is captured are the same ones as the one on his shoes. Kwang Ho always says that he didn't kill anyone every time the detective asks him if he kills the ladies murdered and left in the field. They then went to a forest and Kwang Ho is forced to dig but can't even properly do it well. Then something came out of the mouth of Kwang Ho and they recorded it. They got a statement that Kwang Ho is angry every time that someone grimaces on his face and the main character believes that Kwang Ho is really the rapist of the town. But the detective from Seoul isn't convinced that Kwang Ho is the rapist so he studies the reports. The next day, they are going to reenact the crime but the detective from Seoul insists that Kwang Ho isn't guilty of the said crime but the chief insists that they caught the criminal now. The reenactment becomes a mess when Kwang Ho's father arrives and said that Kwang Ho is innocent. The investigation team is then reshuffled. The new chief makes the main character to report about the case and then they visit the murder scene. The chief asks what the woman murdered have in common and they answer that both were killed when the rain poured. Both wore red dresses but the detective from Seoul that there are three women murdered that they just haven't found the third body and says that he has an idea where they will find a body. He says that he just needs two squadrons and two days to find a body. The next day, the search starts. The main character believes that the woman they are trying to search is in Seoul because it is her dream. But suddenly, someone finds the body. During the autopsy, traces of semen are there. The team of investigation went out for a drink to unwind and the chief burst out that the two detectives should not be arguing in front of him because if they did, the chief will kill them both. Statements given of the drunk chief. After that, the investigation team plots a woman walking under the rain in the red dress. While undercover, they stay in a small space and saw two students and calls them because of the heavy rain pour. Then there's a woman passing by the field and feels someone is following her. 
The woman runs faster and suddenly someone appears in front of her and she screams. The telephone at the police station rings. They then went to the crime scene fast and found some footprints, hoping to find some fingerprints, but there's none. Another clue pops up when they discover that every time there is a woman murdered, there is someone who requests a song, sad letter, and wants to play it every time the rain pours. But the main character didn't believe them and says that their imagination is something. The main character's partner suggests that he should try to consult with a shaman to catch the culprit. They believe what the shaman says and do some rituals. Someone came and they hide somewhere, but it is the sole detective. But after that, another man arrives. The detectives are hiding when they witness a man who gets a woman's underwear inside his red lace underwear. There, he tries to release some juices, but the detective created a noise that makes the suspect to run. They run as fast as they could, but the suspect escapes. Then the dog barks in some direction and found the man running. They continue to run to catch the suspect, but can't find the suspect again because the suspect runs towards the factory and blend in. The main character founds a man that wears a red undies and arrests him. They interrogate the suspect, but when they investigate, it seems that he's just a pervert that runs because he panics when they are catching him. He is diligently going to church and is looking for his sick wife and two children. The church people are now protesting in front of the police station to release the suspect because he is in jail for four days without any warrant issued. The main character is just plotting someone to be the culprit for the second time. The detective from Seoul still investigated and went to the outhouse that everyone in town is talking about, then got an information that there is a woman on the hill that cries every night. He went there and found some woman garments. The woman is a victim of the rapist who is alive, and another clue was given that the hands are soft and delicate like a woman's hands. The detective from Seoul collided with the main character because of the new clue added, and then they heard a woman scream in a live broadcast and checks that the rain is pouring. Then the next day, a dead body is found. The woman detective found a postcard from the radio station with the name and the address of the suspect who always requests for the song, Sad Letter. The two detectives went to the address and investigates and is looking for Park Kyung Gu and went to the factory that he is working for. Park Kyung Gu is now being interrogated and says that he listens until the last song but he just can't remember it. They didn't get any information after since the main character's partner hit the suspect and the chief is really angry. Then the detectives got Kwang Ho's tape and realize that he is a witness. They went to find Kwang Ho, but he runs away when he finds that there are detectives. The detectives run to catch up with Kwang Ho and asks what happens and describe how the killer raped and murdered women. Then Kwang Ho's father found them that made him run again. And then there is an incoming train and Kwang Ho is hit and the main character didn't catch up to save him. The main character is out with his lover. His lover says that he looks like a corpse and he should get some other things to keep his sanity intact. His lover says that it's okay to unwind for some time. The sole detective is looking for someone far in the restaurant and is requesting for some backup and onto the other side. The main character's lover buys some medicine and the pharmacist there said that she should be rewarded for some metal for her kind act for the town. The pharmacist says that she should demand to the Department of Health, but the lover just ignored the pharmacist and walks out the store. The sole detective is in trouble because he really believes that Park Kyung Gu and he is instinctively crazy, but the chief says that he is the crazy one. They are just waiting for the test analyzation result of the semen from America, if it would match with Park Kyung Gu's DNA. While the lover came out of the pharmacy, she walks alone in the dark road and feels something strange. And that same night, a student walking alone is held captured and the next day, the body is found dead. With the frustrations of the sole detective, he went to catch Park Kyung Gu and beat him up. He asks if Park Kyung Gu is the murderer and just mocks him. The main character came out of breath and says that he has the result from America. Then the sole detective is really frustrated when he read the result because it came out negative. It adds to the frustration of the detective that makes him very angry that he even points a gun to Park Kyung Gu and the main character just stops him. The story ends and they didn't even catch the killer. The main character is peeping at the hole of the unsolved case and a girl is there asking what he is doing there because a man also peeps at the same hole and said that the man did something there way back long years and the main character asks what does the man look like. And the girl answers that he's just a very ordinary man. And the main character tears up because of his frustrations. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.